We get just one term on the left side when we consider wave propagation along an axis of the grid. So if this is our grid and here is the source, if we consider wave propagation straight in this direction, these are along the axes of the grid, or if we consider propagation along the diagonals, so for a source in the center here, it'll be right at 45 degrees. First, for propagation along one of the grid axes, so that would be 0, 90, 180, and 270 degrees, then we will only have kx or ky because the other will be zero because for propagation just to the right of the source, for example, we'll only have kx. So this leaves us with just one term on the left side. We'll have c delta t over delta and sine k delta over two. And the right side is the same. For this case, if we solve for k, we would take the square root of the entire equation, and ultimately we would get k tilde is 2 over delta arc sine delta over c delta t times sine omega delta t over 2. We want to plug this expression for k tilde into the expression for the numerical phase velocity, because ultimately we were interested in the speed of the wave in our grid and whether it matches the speed of light. So now if we evaluate k tilde and plug it into this equation, we can get a value for the numerical phase velocity in our two-dimensional grid along an axis. So let's go ahead and calculate now this along one of the grid axes, and for omega, you, it's 2 pi f, and we are using 1 megahertz, so go ahead and use that value. What do you get?